Hello, on today's video I will show you how to use Unity Remote uh, for to debug your uh, mobile game. Okay, so first what we need to do is to down download Unity Remote. So I will put a link in the description for you. You just need to download it, uh, this app to your phone. Then, when you have downloaded that app, then you will have to download Android Studio. And from inside Android Studio, you will need to go to configure SDK manager and you will have to go to the system settings Android SDK SDK tools and you need to add Google USB driver and just press apply to download the drivers and that's all what you have to do with Android Studio then your next step is to go to the Unity Hub. Uh, okay, I don't have Unity Hub open. Just give me a second. I open Unity Hub. And from Unity Hub, you have to go to the installs, to the version you want to use, go to add modules, and here when you have Android Studio downloaded. Here you have to press this button and add those options. Probably this one will not be downloaded uh, in your, it will not be added, this module will not be added uh, to your Unity. You have to do it. So just press next and all of that will be downloaded. Then when you have everything added to your uh, Unity version, you will have to go to your phone settings and here when you will see you have to configure your device, your phone you want to use for debugging your games. Uh, you need to allow, you need to move it to the developer settings. So. Uh, to do that, just go to your settings, about phone, build number. Build number as something here, when you go to your software information about your phone, you will see build number. And if you press that seven times, you will your um, developer options will be enabled. And inside the developer options, you need to turn on debugging and installing through USB port. Everything is described here step by step, but it's, uh, it's, it's very easy to do it. So I put also linked in the description. So when you will have your Android Studio uh, installed, module uh, for your uh, Unity version added, uh, app remote, remote uh, Unity remote installed on your phone, then just plug in your phone into USB restart to Unity and turn on the app uh, Unity Remote on your phone before starting Unity. And when you, you've done all that steps, go to your Unity, File, Build Settings, change your build setting to Android. Um, you have something in this button. If you have different build settings, just press choose Android and press switch platform will be here. So now I have Android chosen and as you, as you can see here my device is detected correctly by Unity so I can choose my device which I am currently using and I will have to do one more thing before I will be able to debug my games on my phone. I have to go to edit preferences and from the preferences sorry not the preferences uh, on the preferences on the external tools you will see if everything was installed correctly here so if you have that comment and uh, you will not have any red errors everything is good okay so go to edit project settings and in the editor window just choose any android device here 
Uh, and when we have our default scene, let's add UI button to check if everything is working. Uh, let's let's scale it. Just let's do it like three on three times to be able to press that. Uh, here on the game view, just choose your remote. And now, uh, when you done everything step by step, as I said to you, and you started Unity remote on your phone before starting Unity, uh, you should see when you press play, and your phone is connected by USB to your um, to your PC. When you press play, play, your game window will be rendered on your phone. So now, if you can see here, I'm pressing button from my phone. So everything is working fine. And this way, these steps which I just showed you will be needed uh, for our next tutorial uh, how to create a mobile game. Okay, I have hope that I helped you with that uh, remote Unity remote application and if you like the video and it was helpful just press the like button and please do not forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching and have a nice day bye